I tell you, I have had the best response to my videos where I was doing uh, spice mixes, homemade seasoning, spice mixes, um, things like that. I mean, I got some of the best comments and the video really done good. So that told me that y'all are really interested in the different homemade uh, spice mixes and dry mixes and stuff like that. So me and some of the ladies got together and we decided it might be a good idea to maybe do a, have a collaboration um, doing these different homemade mixes. So several of us got together and I'm going to tell you who they are. It's me, <laughs> Miss Lori, Whip Will Holler. It'll be Miss Katie from Heritage Ways. Now she's the one that really got this rolling and kind of took care of it. So um, make sure you go over and see Miss Katie. She has a really wonderful family. I love this family. They come and spent several days with me and uh, they've just got the most um, honest, respectful, smart, loving children that I've ever seen. And I enjoyed it and I love them to death. So Miss Katie from Heritage Ways, Miss Vicki from Vicki's Country Home, who is uh, my my best we call each other sisters um sisters in christ sisters um i have a deep connection with miss vicky she come and stayed with me and i got videos of that some older videos and uh, she has got some wonderful videos of her own she just of her homestead of her cooking of her canning of her knowledge of so many things. She's uh, she's just one of a kind, and I just love her, and she knows that. She's my bestie, even though she lives <laughs> 10,000 miles away. It really don't matter. You know, hearts can be connected through a lot of miles. So, anyways, Miss Vicki from Vicki's Country Home. We got Constance from Cosmo... Uh, Politan Cornbread. If y'all have never seen this channel, this lady, <clears throat> she is so sweet. And she has got a beautiful channel. Um, and I may be saying all this wrong, but I know she has um, a, a blog. She does recipes. She writes stories. Um... She takes wonderful videos, <coughs> I'm sorry, and uh, pictures, and she cooks, and she just, she's just an all-around, very honest, intelligent woman, and you need to go check her channel out, and she's in this collaboration. Her name is Constance, and uh, she's just a really, really nice lady. And then we got Tammy Peden from... Uh, Little Jordan Farm, and I love this gal. <laughs> she she can do a video and just get me to smiling and laughing right off the bat. If we were together, I think she'd have me rolling 95% of the time <laughs> because she just has that personality. But on top of that personality, she is the one of the kindest, and uh, she's very, very... Uh, very, very uh, smart in a lot of things, especially when it comes to homesteading and, and herbs and all the different plants that she can go outside and just walk through the fields and just about tell you what everything is and what it's good for. So that's Tammy Peden from Little Jordan Farm. I love these gals, and I'll have their links below. So we're all getting together and uh, doing this collaboration with all the different... Uh, seasoning, spice mixes, dry mixes. Of course, this one today, February 29th, and then March 7th, which will be a Saturday morning, you'll have at least, each channel I have at least one mix recipe, if not two. And then March 14th, <coughs> Saturday morning, 
a video with at least one mixed recipe or two. And when we talk, when we're saying recipes, with, it can be spice mixes, baking mixes, any time, any type of dry mixes like all-purpose baking or pancake, muffins, pie crust, soup, etc. So this is going to be fascinating. And uh, we're going to be able to do as many as we want to in one video. And a lot of these spice different mixes don't take long to put together, so you could do two or three in a video. Uh, right now, what I want to do, so if you want to get your pen and paper together, I'm going to go down through a list, and I'm going to tell you some of the different <coughs> things you would need in your pantry. Because if you have these, you can put together pretty much any, any kind of seasoning mixture. I mean, from taco seasoning to spaghetti to you name it. If you've got these, you're going to be able to make anything. Any kind of recipe that you see or that we show you, you'll be able to make them all. Now, I know some people say, now, if you... If you have to have all this, how are you saving money? And the thing about that is, and my husband taught me that, and Mr. Brown taught me this, and Mr. Brown's very smart when it comes to shopping and saving money. He don't want to shop, and he don't like to shop, that's for sure. And I don't ever make him go shopping with me. If he happens to be with me and I go shopping, he goes straight to the, the hunting and fishing stuff. So, <laughs> But... Even though you have to buy these different spices, if you go by, if you make your seasonings and you go by the price per ounce, you're going to see that you have saved money by making all these different seasonings and mixes. I mean, if you can figure that one out and the price per ounce, you'll, you'll see that you are saving money. Plus the fact that it's so much better and better for you too. So <clears throat> it's so neat to look in your pantry and see all these different seasonings and spice mixes and, and knowing that the shelf life, some of them, you know, you can go two years. Mine never last a year, so I'm constantly remaking them because I use them that much. I don't go to the store and buy all these different seasoning mixes. So when you look in there and you see all these, it's, it's really neat. <coughs> Y'all, I'm so sorry. I can't get through a video anymore without <coughs> coughing. Maybe by the time spring's over, I'll get better. So, I'm going to read this off to you. So, if you're ready. Salt, pepper, paprika, dried parsley, garlic powder, oregano, onion powder, chili powder, cumin, cayenne pepper, dried basil, dried thyme, marjoram, coriander, sugar, rosemary, nutmeg, crushed red pepper, flour, arrowroot, cornstarch, and even clear gel. Now that clear gel, <coughs> it will be used for, um, I've got a recipe for instant um, chocolate pudding and instant vanilla pudding. And that's what the clear gel is for. Onion flakes, dried minced onion, beef bouillon, granules, or chicken bouillon granules, and if y'all can't find that, and a lot of times they're very expensive buying them off Amazon or something, you can just get the bouillon cubes and crush them up. Cinnamon, ginger, ground cloves, brown sugar, cocoa powder, dried cilantro flakes, dried minced garlic, canning salt. And you're probably wondering why canning salt I'm going to be doing a, a recipe for a salsa 
uh, spice mix. Like during summer when you're getting all them good tomatoes and you want to make salsa, I've got, if you'll, uh, is it Mrs. Wages that you find at Walmart? And then I've got a good recipe that you can make a, a bunch up to make your salsa and it calls for canning salt. White pepper, dried grated lemon rind, celery seed, dill weed, ground mustard, and even a loaf of Italian bread. <laughs> and I know you're like, Lori, what's wrong with you? I've got a recipe that I'm going to be doing in this collaboration that calls for um, a loaf of Italian bread. Now, I keep Italian bread in my freezer all the time. I try to pick it up at Walmart, places like that, that always put it on sale because, you know, it's the day that it's over its expiration date. <clears throat> so I always have it for making croutons and stuff like that. But, uh, so if you have any kind of, really, any kind of frozen bread loaves in your freezer, there's going to be a, a homemade dry mix that we're going to be making with it. And y'all may already know what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to give it away yet. So, today, March 7th and March 14th, there'll be some videos up for the collaboration. Ready to go pantry mixes. <clears throat> and this is going to be fun. But I do have one with my oatmeal that I want to do. So I can take it to work with me next week and have something healthy to eat. And uh, it's not going to have any ingredients in it that I, I can't pronounce or that I don't need to be eating. So let's get started on that one. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm going to have the links below of all the other ladies. Y'all be watching for our collaboration to be popping up because there's going to be a lot of good mix, uh, seasoning mixes and stuff on it. So... Let's get started on the instant oatmeal. It's going to be good stuff. Okay, let's make our homemade instant oats. Now you can make it in your little mason jar or you can make it in, a, make it in little baggies like this. And make your week's worth and kind of store them in, a, in your pantry or something you know just set them up right and or put them down flat like this it won't take up much room so either way but I'm going to make mine in jars because it'll be easier for me to heat it up we've got several microwaves at work and I can just put some milk or water in it and heat it up and I've got instant oatmeal that's going to be really good for me so we need oats I've got quick oats. We need uh, whole milk powder. Now, <clears throat> if you don't want to use any kind of dairy, you don't even have to put it in there. But if you do want some in there, what it does, it just makes it creamier. You can use coconut milk, something like that. Powdered coconut milk is what I'm talking, what I mean. Um, I've never seen powdered coconut milk, but I know it's out there. And I'm sure you can probably get it on Amazon or somewhere. But what I'm going to use is my oats, my whole powdered milk. I've got some um, dried apple slices. And you can use any kind. You can use strawberry, blueberries, any kind of dry fruit that you've got. I'm, either, I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon in it too. You can use brown sugar, regular sugar. Um, I'm going to be using my monk fruit. So any kind of sweetener that, that you prefer that you use you can uh, put that in there so it's easy to mix up it's not going to take long not very many ingredients we just need about a half a cup of oats that's all we're going to need uh, your instant uh, your quick oats are going to uh, cook up better now, if all you have is old-fashioned oats, all you have to do is put them in a blender and um, just blend them up and crush them up a little bit, and you've got instant oats. The thing about old-fashioned oats is it's just your thicker 
um, oats. It's not been crushed up or, you know, made to be a finer oats that will cook up faster. So that's a half a cup. I'm going to put two teaspoons of my powdered milk. Like I said, you don't have to put it in there at all. Just makes it a little bit creamier is all. And I like creamy oatmeal. I don't like it too thick either. I don't want it thin, but I don't like it too thick. So I'm going to put... Uh, it calls for a tablespoon of sugar. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon of my monk fruit. Use whatever sweetener. And uh, I know brown sugar would be great in this. But I'm going to use my monk fruit. And I can make my own brown sugar with my monk fruit. But I haven't done that yet. So I need to get that done for sure. So a tablespoon of my sugar. And uh, I'm just going to put... I don't know half a teaspoon of cinnamon and that's because I'm going to be putting dried apples in here so the cinnamon is going to really be good in there and it don't take very many dried apples in fact these are whole slices so I'm going to kind of break them up and put them in here because they're going to dehydrate when I put that water or milk in there and make my oatmeal and I wish I had some dried strawberries because it makes a really pretty instant oatmeal. I need to get some tomorrow. Now guys, tomorrow, or I say tomorrow, it's today because the video comes out today. I'll be going to Memphis and I'm going to go to Costco. I've never been to a Costco store and I think the one in Memphis is really big. So I'm really excited about that. So there you are. We're done. That is your instant healthy oatmeal. And it went together about that fast. So I'm going to make up probably about four more of those to put in the pantry to have for my breakfast next week at work. Now your, <coughs> your packaged instant oatmeal, it has whole grain oats, sugar. It has natural flavors. Nobody really knows what that natural flavors is. Salt, calcium carbonate, G-U-A-R gum, oat flour, caramel coloring, iron reduced, vitamin A, palmitate, palmitate, palmitate. Anyways, it's really yummy fake coloring and mysterious natural flavors. And it's just not something that I want to be eating. <laughs> so, this is healthier for you. And it's a good thing to have in your pantry. I hope y'all like this recipe. And there's going to be many more to come, guys. Okay, I failed to mention a while ago because I got in such a hurry. That you could put walnuts or dried cranberries, stuff like that, in here too. And it would be wonderful. But this is such a good idea. But uh, there's so many more different uh, sp spice mixes and dry mixes coming up in our collaboration. So y'all be watching for them for the, the next three, today and the next two Saturdays. And all the, the women that are in this collaboration. It's going to be really good. And I've got several... Uh, spice mixes that I'm going to be doing too. So uh, y'all have a great weekend and uh, be safe and uh, God bless everybody. Come back and see me. <laughs>